And we are live. Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> And bear with us tonight. This is our first time doing this, so there's going to be a lot of bumps. I can guarantee you that, but I think we'll have some fun doing it. As we always say, we have uh, more confidence behind the lens since we both uh, do it more on that side uh, as video or on uh, photos oh. while working on them as well. <laughs> uh, so we might still be a little bit shy. Oh my God, <laughs> we got two viewers already. Hi! <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> Congratulations to the first two viewers. Um, if you have any questions uh, or anything, definitely uh, we are more than willing to answer anything about our channel, about us, about doing photography, doing videography, and YouTube. Yeah. And I'm a creator. Definitely. Uh, talk about strategies. We'd love to. If you guys want to point out some things that you do as well, we're always ready to learn. I mean, that's the whole point of this is to grow as a community. Yeah. So we'd love to hear from you. <laughs> wow, four already. I, Yay! I hope we don't disappoint. Yeah. <laughs> so. And if uh, we have some technical difficulties, <laughs> just don't mind us. <laughs> yeah. Bear with us. I, I yeah. promise this will get better. Uh, it, it is fun. And I mean, it's thanks to James and the I Am Creator movement going on the live stream twice has given us a little more confidence. It's our first time going solo. So this will definitely. Uh, make things a little different, but I think for the good, I hope so. And I hope the well for you guys too. I hope you enjoy it. I hope we can bring something of interest to you guys, but what we do, um, I guess we can start a little bit about us, I guess we could talk a bit. Yeah. You start. I think uh, the most uh, uh, surprising thing for people uh, that maybe haven't seen our two guest appearances before <laughs> is that uh, there are two of us. Yes, that's right. Because <laughs> yeah, you probably wonder by some of the answers of, so that we give to you some of your videos and stuff like that. We definitely split up the work. We both try to find uh, channels that we're each individually interested in, as well as a lot of them shared, of course. We're constantly calling each other into the other room or the other couch or something. You got to see what this person has done. Um, I I don't know really. I I think uh, we're kind of lucky that we're not a specialty channel. That's given us a big leg up because we've never had to be kind of pigeonholed into one group, and that's been the most amazing part is getting to see what other people are doing on YouTube. Once again, you guys do some amazing things and things that I never even thought of doing. I a couple times a week I'm like scratching my head saying, Why didn't we think of that one? But that's great. That's uh, it keeps us going. It's inspirational at the same time. You, you guys got a lot of talent out there, and it's also nice to see people growing not just their talent, whether they're into beer drinking, like uh, taste testing different beers mechanics uh pottery whatever the case is now you're on top of that learning something new which is how to stream online how to edit video lighting that that's a whole new ball game and that shows just how versatile people are here which is really cool i think oh definitely yeah. and as we're talking about i'm creating community just uh, wanted to give a shout out james cox's uh in our chat room hey james hi <laughs> <laughs> our uh <laughs> Main guy, yes. <laughs> so to say. Yes. But also hi to all the uh, other uh, amazing. You are so many of you guys there already. It's so exciting and surprising. My God. Uh, uh, hi, Janet and uh, S2 uh, W Themes and Terrell Emerson and Brother Dune, Tyler, oh, wow. Terrell, JD Diva. Hi, M Truck. Hi, thank oh, you. God, you yeah. made it. Uh, <laughs> Train Man, and oh my God, there's so many of them. Train Fan 100, oh, and my. Harley Man, and uh, please, sorry if I forgot <laughs> somebody. Uh, <laughs> but uh, thank you so much. It's it's really amazing. We weren't quite sure if anybody would make it, yes. to be honest. <laughs> we were wondering just before we pressed the button if this was going to be a futile attempt. But yeah, you guys we would just end up great. talking with just with each other. But. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which we do a lot is working. So it is nice to have you along for the ride for a bit. Sure <laughs> gives us a chance to mingle, if you will. James Cox is saying that we're doing awesome. Well, thank oh. you. <laughs> now I'm going to blush. And, and yeah, <laughs> Yes, and that's true. And this is a fun night. And remember, I'm a creator is fun. But as we all know, James is running this show. This is one Canadian quarter. We have to give it to James every time we mention I am a creator. So I'll <laughs> drop that into the bucket. 
and now we're good for another 30 seconds so we'll talk about the channel some more <laughs> just kidding as you all know i am a creator is a great movement um it's helped us grow from 42 people roughly the beginning of february to hitting 1000 last night uh, most of you already i know seeing on the channel are already there but i do see some that maybe don't know about it yet just look for the hashtag i am a creator in youtube go and check it out put your videos on his playlist uh check out other people they're ready to support you it's not a share for share but people are really good to each other in there and you really can grow fast and get a great audience that really cares about what you're doing the amazing thing is that we have uh, explored so many channels and discovered so many uh, amazing creators that otherwise yeah. we probably would have never seen um, <laughs> because they would have never popped up uh, on our suggested video list. Yeah. And uh, it's amazing to see how many uh, different things people do. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Uh, like um, Mud Hill, Mud Hill uh, mower. I would mowers. never think yeah. that somebody that there is such yeah. thing. Mud I Hill mud mowers. That. If you haven't been there yet, you've got to see this guy. His name is Warren. He soups up, literally soups up craft, craft, uh, master, uh, not master craft, craftsman lawn tractors. Runs into the mud like crazy. It's unbelievable. Think of your best quad shows you've uh, quad racing you've seen, and then just exchange it for lawn mowers, and he's got you down show is incredible and the guy is amazing very he, intelligent which we found out last night yeah. he actually learned about small jet propulsion yes. building the engine the fuels that was very impressive yep. yesterday so. <laughs> <laughs> definitely uh and uh, <coughs> uh and also for for me as, as a more on the girly side of push videos <laughs> uh, i'm enjoying uh, sparkle by monica channel uh which is more diy and, and jewelry and all those things <laughs> but uh, i would have never discovered this or yeah. that or all the other channels amazing channels even the ones from canada right here like oh. a joey uh, a joe is going to be a big up and comer yeah. this guy has really got something it, 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 he's kind of taken a bit of casey nice that a little bit of uh, every great vlogger pretty much that's out there and and the good side of them i might add and is just running with it for a guy that's not 20 years old and it's so amazing to see he has the energy of like two five-year-olds i, I wish so. i could keep up with them yeah, yeah. and it, so i'm creative community has helped to connect with people uh, locally and beyond the borders and across the pond yep. uh, where by the way i am from <laughs> yes <laughs> originally <laughs> uh so it has been amazing not only for our channel but for us as people as well uh to discover so many new things and connect with great amazing people like we said yesterday in james cox's um uh, live stream it's yeah, a family definitely become a family for sure the the, the core uh the, i always i've always wanted to say them on stage uh rick uh from the corn network uh uh, the Corn Life Network. Yes, that's right. Sorry. Amazing couple. Uh, his wife just uh, started a week ago. Collect uh, started her own channel, and now she's got over a yep. hundred followers. Yeah, we she actually got night. it hundred. Yeah, yeah, on the live stream, which so. was really cool, and she was so happy. Oh my god, she was beaming from it. It was amazing to watch. For sure, exactly. Uh, well, there's so many congratulations yeah. again, guys. Thank you yeah. so much. Uh, Carlton Morley is asking for our you guys tonight we are great but still a little bit shaky, yeah if you can see yeah. it was <laughs> a late night last have. night and with two children i had to get on the bus this morning we were up early so it's been a great long day that's for sure um yeah oh and uh james thank you so much uh, again yeah. for staying on our chat as well uh he's telling us that we have 10 watching and 15 likes <laughs> and growing yeah. thank you yes that's uh, that's amazing 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 and even though james didn't create it as he's always staying to everybody and it belongs to everybody i mean without him he was such an inspiration he's the one who got literally me up in front of my computer again when i just didn't even want to bother anymore we owe him so much and i think even it spread into like you doing facebook twitter your photography twitter it, definitely for yeah. sure uh like we did we did have uh, our social channels before obviously because uh, we work as a business as well uh but twitter uh i was kind of more uh focusing on instagram uh, and a little bit on facebook um and we had twitter but i posted it every so often but now with the community growing and lots of the community members being on twitter i i kind of reboosted it as well mm -hmm. and had a lot of followers actually from the community 
on Twitter, on Instagram, yeah. on Facebook. So it grows much beyond just the YouTube channel. It Most definitely. Uh, definitely it supports all our social networks and, and that that's amazing. Somebody is actually asking how you pronounce our channel. It's Pusha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the S is a sh sound because of the upside down uh, roof onto it, <clears throat> and that's from Xenia's country, uh, is uh, country Latvia, which is part of the Baltic states they call it, which is above Poland, so Poland, then Lithuania, and Latvia. Um, little side note Xenia and I met on a video game years ago, a game called Second Life. We were just playing around on no, guys, two. this is a long story, so just sit <laughs> no. back, get your coffee. <laughs> We'll prepare tell that your, I was just gonna say that part for yourself. now. Yeah. And we're gonna tell you how we met. <laughs> I mean, you already started, so we might as well give okay. them all the saucy details at the okay. beginning. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> so we met on a video game called Second Life, which is basically a virtual reality world in the mid two thousands. Uh, we both went on. Both really didn't kind of care much for the game, but stayed friends i went back on it a few times but it wasn't really for me either stayed friends for a long time like many 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 months and then we decided to keep talking and then all of a sudden i had to have a change of career and i was in between work so i decided it was time to go to latvia and meet this girl so i jumped on a plane and flew to latvia and uh yeah I'll, I'll pause it here so now uh, let's remember we're in canada now and andrew is from canada originally and i'm from latvia so <laughs> i knew obviously what is canada our first women woman president was uh ex-canadian right. <laughs> immigrant right. but nevertheless before andrew was coming uh, i was saying that it's gonna be cold <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of snow and we are the biggest hockey fans in the world. Yeah. Okay. So there are three things I, I I told him to do. Well, <laughs> I bit my tongue, <laughs> and after a couple of months in Latvia, we decided to come back over to Canada for a couple of months. I have my oldest son here as well, and we had to get back for a bit. And um, yes, I know some of you are from the states, and I'm not very good anymore at converting into Fahrenheit. My apologies. But she learned what it was like to get to Canada when we got off the plane, and it was literally minus 37 degrees Celsius. Yes. And uh, about hockey, well, yeah, she learned very quickly that there was a terrorist bombing at the attempt bombing at the time somewhere in the Middle East. I forget where. But first, they were had to discuss in the news why the Montreal Canadiens were having a losing streak, and then after that, they went to the bombing area. So, she kind of learned quickly how Canada rolls, pretty much when it comes to hockey yeah. and cold. We, mm -hmm. well, I still think we for that for a small country, we're we're a pretty good hockey fan. Maybe not as as uh, fanatic though as Canadians though. <laughs> uh, but as for the weather, definitely minus ten, well, minus twenty. Actually, it's minus twelve tonight. And <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, sure uh, it, it gets a little snow and it is cold, but that's not as cold here no and then when we after a while when we moved to saskatchewan right now we are on the uh east side right now we're kind of central yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh we moved to midland more well there it was minus 50. Oh, thank you stephen for converting that i appreciate yeah. it i knew uh, the, the, that minus that point 35 yes thank across you. around that area they'd be the same so we moved to saskatchewan and there in winter it was quite common to have minus 50. And people were working, going to school, and just going on around their day without really being surprised about the weather outside. <laughs> That's where I really knew I'm in Canada. Yes. And I was looking much. for polar bears. Still yeah. looking, by the way. I had left. I used to work. It's another story, but I worked for a big music company. I used to work with Slash and a lot of... I, if anybody here plays music and knows, like, Marshall amplifiers, well, I worked for basically Marshall Canada. Once I crossed into Canada, I did all the advertising for Marshall Digitech Pearl Drums, so I used to work with a lot of artists. And I had left that job, and so I went back to truck driving for a couple of years, hauling uh, crude oil in the Midwest, Balkan oil, which, of course, is just above North Dakota. And one morning I left for work, was New Year's Day, and it was actually, it was minus 50 degrees Celsius on the dot, and it was so cold, all the ice, uh, all the pipes coming out of the ground, which, of course, have crude oil and salt water, the salt water was completely frozen at that point. And that's when we realized that we had to try and get somewhere a little warmer. And that's amazing when Montreal becomes the warmer place. So I think we definitely had seen as cold as it could get. 
So. Yeah, and Montreal definitely is a if if anybody uh, actually if anybody has been in Montreal, uh, just uh, give a shout out. Yes, definitely <laughs> would, for would sure. Would like to know if you have visited Montreal or in Canada in general if you're not from here. But uh, Montreal, I think, is definitely a good mix from North America and Europe. It has that Europe uh, flair. I can mm -hmm. feel that culture and a good mix of of different things around and festivals. And so, uh, without going overseas, it's probably the best place to go to to see what it feels like I definitely and i think it's just, that's you kind of see it reflect in our work like you see everything we do from dubstep videos with mural festivals downtown to trains out in the middle of nowhere and everything in between same as with xenia's photography mm -hmm. we travel a lot we do a lot of traveling with our kids uh two years ago we did one trip that we'd been looking at for a while we had a business we, uh, later on in 2014 we actually had a viking wedding in iceland and we got married on canada day which is july 1st we eloped we left the kids at home and we went to iceland we had uh, there's a tv show called on history channel called vikings and we actually had xenia's wedding dress and my clothing made by a designer in downtown montreal who actually recreated those costumes that were used in Floke's wedding in season two of uh, Vikings. Xenia has a picture here, actually, of yeah, us. Yeah, we had an amazing uh, I'm taking it closer. Uh, now it's going to have... There. There you now go. Now you can see. <laughs> uh, this is a shot from our wedding. Yep. We had a priestess that we found on YouTube and took us three months to track down a couple that she married in Colorado through their photographer. And from there, we got in finally in touch with her two months later. It was always my dream to go to Iceland, and we picked Iceland also because it was meet in the middle. So, of course, Xenia from Europe, I'm from North America, and that's exactly where the continent split was. So kind of worked out and couldn't get much more even than that. Yeah, we only had Roman and Lisa and the, the princess yes. uh, on our wedding, so it was very, very nice. We didn't know anybody there, so our um, the funny part was they got married in Iceland, but our photographer was from the Ukraine and his wife was from Britain. And they were the only people that we knew, so we spent the whole night with them and the priestess. So we started a business later on doing weddings in Iceland for other people. And we had to go do some photography, and we this time wanted to bring the kids with us who were four and eight. And we flew to Iceland in the end of the um, second week of July. I think so. It's 12 for 13. And we spent seven days in Iceland with no hotels, a Honda Civic, and a four and an eight-year-old. Uh, it was the summertime, so it's the midnight sun. So they would sleep in the car at odd times. We'd climb craters at three in the morning. The kids would bathe in these little uh, uh, heat, uh, naturally heated creeks that you would find through farmers' fields and stuff. So it's about maybe three feet of water and about 30 degrees Celsius uh, temperature. And we traveled all around the country doing photo shoots. We took about, what, four, 4,000 pictures or more? Yeah, I, I don't even know. Yeah. There's a lot of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a lot of it. Yeah, Iceland is such an amazing place that we can make a, a live stream just, <laughs> just yes. about that. I think yeah. otherwise we we're not we're never going to change the subject. I didn't uh, do but, much uh, video back then, unfortunately. Now it's one of these things. Now that I have my this camera that I'm working with, now I had a wish I did. Uh, Xenia's been in photography. That it started for her actually when uh, we got married. I bought her the Sony or uh, Sony A6000, which was pretty much new at the time and only been out I think a couple of months yes yeah and um, that's where it kind of all took off again she had already showed a lot of interest and skill but it was all before that point and shoots uh, and that's when things just kind of took off from her like Xenia has represented National Geographic she's represented mm -hmm. Quebec uh, for the uh, Canada day for the provinces uh, of course there's ten provinces three territories and her picture was selected there's the Allison uh, video you guys have probably seen from the art gallery well, she was doing it because last year was Canada's 150th birthday. Allison wanted to do this contest where you'd send in pictures, and she'd pick one from every province and territory, and then she would paint them, sell them, and half the proceeds would go to the charity and the choice for the winner of that province or territory, and Xenia's picture was selected for Quebec. And that is the painting that she's painting when uh, most of the video you see her doing is Xenia's work that she was 
of course, uh, transcribing onto the canvas. We're going to put the link uh, after the live yes. in, uh, in the description. Definitely. <laughs> uh, yeah, and our half of the mm -hmm. process goes to the Cancer Foundation in Gaspe. Yes, that's right. Uh, yeah. Where, uh, I, where I grew up, yes. Yeah, because it's a little bit more remote uh, for uh, medical care, so we just wanted to support people yeah. uh, there. Um, yeah, and uh, Alison's parts go to art. By Benjamin the way, Chavez. Uh, yes, Benjamin, we are in Quebec. We're, we're in Montreal. Montreal. By the way, Harley Man, congratulations of getting married soon. Oh, well, the best you. excellent. <laughs> Sending great vibes to you, yeah, man. Yeah, give a shout out for the date. We are. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a photographer? <laughs> okay, we're just kidding. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> uh, but no, congratulations, nevertheless. Uh, thank you guys for all the comments. I see there are some people that uh, have uh, gone uh, vacationing to Canada, Great Lakes, Ontario. Some uh, Someone just mentioned, I'm sorry, uh, that they're going up north uh, as well for summer. Oh. I, I, yes, I, I, I agree. North is better in the summer because... Yes. <laughs> I don't like too hot weather, that's for sure. Well, 75% of all of us here in Canada are all within 100 kilometers of the U.S. border, so we're all sharing the same temperatures, which is warm. Yeah. We go from one extreme to another, where it's minus 30 here in the winter and plus 40 in the summer. So Yeah, happy trails, hi. Uh, oh, happy just came in. Oh, yeah. excellent. Uh, sorry, again, if I'm late on somebody. Yes, uh, definitely. <laughs> oh, there they are. Oh, yeah. that's great. No, so happy to have you guys. Happy to have all of you guys. Uh, we're it's honored amazing. to have you guys. Oh, my God. Uh, and don't forget to ch share the stream, please, uh, or yes. retweet our tweets. I think I retweeted already a couple of them today in the yep. last hour. But <laughs> there's never too many of them. So please mm. tweet it out. Uh, get some more of our community and other people. Yep. Uh, just tune in and check us out. And you guys as well. <laughs> we definitely want to do this more. And this is if you guys can bear with us for the first two or three till we get our legs more. I'd eventually like to have people come on. I would like to do a lot more things. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe even eventually a quick tutorial type or we can break down uh, some sites or yeah. some different channels and talk about it. I, I know, like, uh, as a creator, it's hard sometimes to understand the technical part of it, uh, like the lights. Oh, San Enterprises. Good day, guys. <laughs> uh, the <laughs> lights, the setup, uh, the, the equipment, the technical part of it uh, is sometimes a big question for people who maybe do it as a pastime or uh, it's not their day-to-day -day thing. So yes, that's something definitely. we can uh, maybe help with. If you guys have questions, we can prepare uh, maybe a live stream just about that. Or even just discuss. You know, yeah. we can talk, just take questions. I mean, we're not... We're not text and uh, no. uh, camera apart from one or the other, and we don't have all the answers. No, uh, we've found stuff that works for us. Yeah, uh, we'd just like to help if it does for you too. Until I got my latest cam, the camera that I got now really is my first camera I've ever had. I do, I have taken all the video that you see, but I, I was never a photographer. I was never in a video. I studied editing in two thousand. Yeah, in two thousand and hadn't even done some of this stuff in a long time i enjoy editing a lot more than i do taking video i like my new camera it's easier to work with so i'm tending to enjoy it more than i used to but that's where my interest lays more i work a lot with adobe premiere i work some with after effects 95 percent of what i do though is based in premiere uh, I'm curious also if you guys could type what the editing are you guys using if it's just software on your phone or if you're using Premiere or if you're using Vegas uh, Avid anything I'm just kind of curious what you guys would be also using we are going to break 30 viewers on <laughs> James is so amazing <laughs> I think James was a cheerleader in another lifetime so I think that's someone back so to amazing our creator community uh, there was a question from Benjamin Chavez uh, while you guys are typing about your video editing we can answer the question about uh, tips for YouTube well as James Cox of comment just popped up we yeah. can say join the community <laughs> <laughs> First and foremost yeah. is community. First and foremost is to get your channel out there and not to, uh, not I would say not as a narrow viewer type, uh, but to as wide audience as possible. Because uh, eventually that narrow uh, audience uh, has borders and that's where it ends, right? Uh, it's good to have different types of people, different ages from different places and maybe even different interests because it spreads faster 
It, it, it's, <laughs> sorry, <it's>, sorry, James. <laughs> He's gonna be back for me at the yeah, on his channel. Uh, no. <laughs> that's a great. Uh, so, uh, and that's what we were talking yesterday on live stream as well. Uh, that sometimes, especially when you are a niche um, channel, it's hard to grow beyond your your niche group. So it's good to reach out to other types of channels. Maybe do a collaboration video, do something together. Um, that's a great way to to grow on on YouTube as well. And of course, we can go through uh, you know the regular algorithm and CEO things. But I I'm, I'm sure you can find thousands of videos about that out there uh, about the titles and and tags and all those things. I don't want to repeat everything <laughs> that probably most of people know, but if you don't, ask a, a concrete question and we will answer. I read you loud and clear, Jada Diva. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's amazing, but there is a lot of Adobe Premiere. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's uh, higher. I've seen some uh, Final Cut. I definitely, I figured there'd be some Mac users in there. Um, James use uh, some yeah. There's a couple. I eh? feel more. See, I had never got to really use Filmora. You use Filmora, didn't you? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. It, it's 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 great, and it's also too what you want to do with videos. You know, not the Premiere has gotten a lot easier to use. That's the nice thing about it now. When back in 2000, we first were studying it. It was uh, it was it was the same complexity as like I'd say After Effects is now today. And even After Effects become a lot more user friendly, and plus the availability of templates is amazing. Uh, somebody was asking me about the video I did with the trains the other day again. About um, uh, no, actually it was the uh, the one of Europe with all the pictures in the uh, lower. Th they're called lower thirds. Those little names that pop up in the end that I have at the bottom, like uh, where it says Latvia or Estonia, the flags. And Premiere has some great tools now. You don't have to go and do it in After Effects anymore, which is really amazing. So uh, it's definitely something to look into, but it's it's also not for everybody. If your main thing is you just want to get a nice, clean, simple cut and get everything out with a few effects, uh, definitely. You don't have to complicate your life for any, for nothing. I like Premiere. I find Premiere's got that great balance, plus there's still a lot of plugins available and templates because it's the most... Uh, it's the most used at this point in as a standard video editing software but like final cut i mean is very popular especially since apple has grown so much over the last years it's become a big big player with a lot of people and an easy to easy access to of course uh nelson i think adobe premiere is easy to use once you get the hang of it yes definitely a non-linear software and especially because after a uh, premiere also of course is so tied in and integrated with the rest of adobe products that's what also makes things a lot easier too same as audition for audio and stuff if you know one you already kind of know the basics of them all because they all kind of follow the same format so at least you got a point to start with and as we all know with youtube today there's a tutorial for everything and that's something i see guys asking for help on here and stuff like that if you want video to just go and literally type in the question you want to know and there's nothing too basic if you say how do i copy and paste in premiere because you can't see control v or c there is a tutorial online in in youtube how to do it that's what's so amazing today i would have given my life to have that kind of stuff back then i don't want to sound like father time here but with technologies we know 18 years ago might as well be 300 years ago it, things change that fast we have a lot of resources and we have a lot of resources in each other here that's what's cool and for collaborating like i'm hoping once we all get more established not that we're going to be able to connect with more people here and start to do stuff together because there's so much talent we can really make some amazing things on online with what we all have to offer i'm just looking at the list as people it's going down and the talents that are here are unbelievable you people really, really do what you do well. That's why I like your videos. It's not about always heavy editing and and all that. It's about what you do. If you make uh, woodworking, well, it's the video is just capturing your skill. The skill is not so important about the camera. It's good to have good lighting. It's good to have clean video and stuff, yes. But it's not the number one. It's your talent that's going to sell it. Because you look at some videos that went viral, especially on places like Facebook, and the, 
it was literally some guy who just happened to hold on to cell phone when he seen some kid playing a guitar in a street corner and the thing has got 10 million views they weren't judging the video because of his high quality camera they were judging it because what his his uh his subject was doing so i i really looking forward to more what you guys got to offer and that you're you're really really ahead of the game you're very inspiring that's what it comes down to you're very very inspiring and also the thing is if you don't want to get into uh, somebody said mentioned that it gets too technical sometimes uh, on YouTube and, well, and straight there is uh, 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 San, San Otto said cooperation can be way more uh, profitable than uh, competition oh yeah for that's sure. a great way yes, of putting that's it a very very great of putting yeah. it uh what i wanted to say about the technical side uh if you are, don't want to get into the video part and you just want to do your thing uh your your niche channel whatever your skill you have and you don't want to spend time understanding how to work uh sometimes complicated programs uh there's tons of templates that can be downloaded for free oftentimes um uh, just like free download uh Creative Commons and whatever program you're using and you can download free templates for uh, intros uh, for uh, covers for for basically anything that you need you can download it and use it in the program that you have so that would take off the load uh, of work and save you time also talking about the social media I would suggest using canva.com uh, that's a really good uh, way of having right size and right proportions for all your social media for facebook covers and profiles for instagram for youtube channel anything like that uh, there's tons of uh, graphics tons of pictures for free you can upload your own pictures and uh, uh it's it, canva.com uh, yeah, it, it's a very good place. I use it a lot. I, I do mine some, a lot from scratch as well, just because I enjoy doing it. Um, but if in a hurry, it's a really great place to do that. So, uh, and thank you again. I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody who is here. There's so many, my God, uh, 27 <laughs> watching now. If I, uh, yeah, and uh, there's lots of people saying that they're tweeting it out. My God, <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the tweets and all that, uh, all the support. Now, again, if you have any questions about us, about the channel, about what we do, or any technical questions, we can try and answer as well as we can. <laughs> um, yeah, somebody said uh, just yesterday started using Canva Bubble 818. I hope you like it. I, I think it's a great tool. It's great and easy tool. And especially with social channels and YouTube, you need to have these graphic uh, uh, illustrations. And uh, uh, the more you have them consistent among your social media, the better. Uh, so if you t take the same colors, the same fonts, and just put them across uh, the social media, it's, it's really good for your brand, for your channel in general. So use it. I, I, I hope you like it. Oh, I see. Uh... Kurt, I hope, oh my God, I hope I pronounced this right. Kurt Z uh, Zizzlesman Outdoors. You were asking if that was a Parker fly. Yeah, that is a Parker fly. Um, you can see our fly set up too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to see right now. I can bring it over after. That was uh, when I worked for the music company. That was one of the brands we did here in Canada. And it's one of the guitars I took with me. Actually, the other two are well, Yamahas and... Uh, I had that was my dream guitar. I was a drummer in a heavy metal band and used to have hair down to down to there and I also play guitar and my sister needed money and I it was my favorite guitar the it was the blue one so I pawned it in for her so she would have the money that she needed and I always wanted another one could never find it and 2 years ago I found one online an RGX 521 and it was black, but I said it's the closest I've ever been to getting it. So I went and bought it, and then two weeks later, the blue one came up on KGG. So I bought both of them. So now I don't have to tune them in different keys anymore. So <laughs> as my wife looks at me and wonders why I have many guitars. No, I actually, <laughs> I actually enjoy him playing a, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Janet Taylor, what's your favorite video you've uploaded and edited? I would say she brought back the '80s to Montreal because that's actually the girl in the video is my niece. Uh, and my wife had done a photo shoot with her last spring. And, I, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar now with Peter McKenna. He's a 
fellow Canadian, proud of him. He's done very well. And he's also been kind of an inspiration. And I realized that him and I make videos a lot of the same way in that a lot of times I'll have a song that I want to do a video to because I think my music background, I like making music video type shots. I like everything to be so synced with every drum, with every hi-hat, with every slide of a guitar pick. Everything is so uh, important to me to have it. I guess it's my OCD, my wife would say more. And I had this song in my head, and I listened to it like 600 times. I love the beat of it. It was different from what I usually use, but I just couldn't find a place to use it. And then finally I was going through, and I found the B-roll of all the driving through Montreal. And that was literally – all those driving ones is me holding my DJI Osmo out the window at 100 kilometers an hour. <laughs> so I've got like <laughs> – Safely. <laughs> safely. Safely. <laughs> safely. And then I just came across – I went through Xenia's photos and found the photo shoot. And finally, after all those months, something was coming together. And, of course, I grew up in the 80s, liked a lot of metal and rock bands. And I always wanted to do that kind of a tribute to the videos that i seen growing up. And you'll notice that video has a lot uh, darker a lot darker shadows, more contrasted blacks onto it for that simple reason. Because back then, I mean, they didn't have as big a budget to record their videos, so they used cinematic cameras, but kind of roughly edited it. So they always had that bit thicker black than that should have been there. So that one was a, a real passion job. And I mean, I spent what a week and a half, yeah, two weeks, sometimes uh, half the night up just doing literally 12 second intervals together. But I think that's my favorite. Andrew, I think it's uh, very, which is good, is very particular in the way he's doing his videos. And if he doesn't like even a millisecond of that video, <laughs> he's going to redo it till he loves it. And and he's not going to post it before he, he likes how it like the result right so sometimes it takes uh, long hours sometimes days and nights oh, yeah. uh, editing it and re-editing and, and and doing it uh, the way he wants uh, and I think it's a true passion in in the work right because lots of these things can be done batch working or yes. automated Yes, I agree. Uh, but uh, I if, if you don't enjoy doing it. But as Andrew said, he uh, mostly enjoy editing more than taking the video. So I think that shows in the videos as well. Well, that's where I feel most creative. Uh, maybe now, once again, instead of my OCD, that part's my God syndrome. <laughs> I, like, I, 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 I love telling something out of nothing. I love just all the bits and pieces, starting off with about 80 clips and just finding a way to put it into three to seven minutes or so is unbelievable because we actually can tell a story without any words. Uh, and I like doing that. I like when I see you guys comment and somebody gets what I was doing and, and it means a lot. It, it's, it, it, it's, nice. it's like going to a new country where you can't speak the language and hoping somebody can understand you. So it is a good feeling. It is really rewarding. Yeah, one of the best comments, uh, I think, uh, where, I mean, all the comments are great. And Definitely, it has yes. been a great support. But uh, the very heartwarming ones are when people say, you know, uh, uh, I, I never thought I would watch it, then I watched it. Yes, you know? yes. Uh, or, uh, oh, oh, my God, I enjoyed the story so much. You Definitely. Know, like the wedding videos. Uh, yeah. Like when it's past just a, a video, when it actually means much more, when yeah. people actually get deeper they connect into with it. it they connect with it and yeah and and i think that's why clients for example with the wedding videos they love that because yeah. it tells not just the story of the day uh but their story definitely uh, it, yeah it becomes a keepsake of of their story of love or or the event you know, whichever uh, well, we capture yeah. the the first wedding video is the first video up on that site was a friend of mine who got married a childhood friend joanne it's called hank and joe's wedding and that thing it's nine minutes long and she married uh, her uh, husband is Micmac, which is Eastern Canada, uh, one of the native uh, uh, Aboriginal uh, uh, Aboriginals. And he was telling us about the story and about how they the the the, the tree the the sun tree is it called the tree uh, with sun the sun warrior I think sun I warrior know. tree. Don't quote us on that. No. Yes. <laughs> And it was an amazing story. And then we kind of came to the conclusion about why not tell it like, you know, traveling in the land and finding that, that bride and, and, and building a life together. And that involves some mornings getting up at six o'clock in the morning just to go down and film by the river and uh, uh, not wanting to tell him what we were doing. So actually sneaking all through uh, the area, trying to find this tree and getting permission from people to film it because it is a sacred site. 
the video ended up taking about 96 hours to do for the nine minutes. And I, uh, it was a ton of work, but it was very rewarding because it does tell a full story and it goes through chapters. And it was something different than what's done today for most wedding videos. And that was a, re a real sense of pride for that as well. Yeah, we definitely don't enjoy doing the cookie cutter thing, neither for photos or for videos. Yeah. Uh, it's it's different. It's not batch work. It's not automated. It's a very individual and very yeah. customized, just the way we work at each video and each picture. Uh, it, it's definitely very personal. <laughs> we spend <laughs> we spend 80% of our time editing and the other 20% telling each other you're going too far and you got to take a break. <laughs> I don't yeah. know how many times we do that to each other in the run of a week. <laughs> Yeah. Or our own support group. <laughs> exactly. And the same like when I do photos, I, I don't do 10 photos all the same style. I, I tend to work on one photo yeah. <laughs> till, I, till I like the way it looks. And then when I take the next one to work on, I, I work just with that in mind. So each of them becomes a different uh, uh, picture. Uh, so definitely. <laughs> It takes a lot of time. Oh, I just, there, I'm just gonna get my speakers back. They can hear us, I think, still. Yeah. I hope. Yeah, I uh, hope we are back. There, can you guys hear us? Sorry about that. <laughs> We're running you through the uh, TV surround, that's why, so. <laughs> We're through plus 30. <laughs> Good. Now, uh, I somebody just asked about the favorite channel. I just lost it. F favorite video, Bobby eight one eight. You know what? We're not subscribed to you. So wait for us after the screen stream. We are gonna definitely go out and uh, check your videos for sure. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. I thought we were already. Maybe yeah, I thought so too. I thought so too. Yeah, we, I'm sure we were. Uh, but definitely after the stream, we're going to go through yeah. the chat and we're going to check who were there and check again their channels. We're very active and I'm uh, And you guys are probably community. seeing that too. That's been happening a lot lately. Like some channels that we visited a very, very decent amount, sometimes twice a day, all of a sudden we weren't subscribed. And I've been wondering why I hadn't been hearing from them for a week. That's normal right now because of the influx of subscribers. It's just the typical uh, YouTube algorithm playing with all of us. So keep an eye when you, I always try to whenever, especially the ones that I know are in the I am creator group, I try to look when I go like another one of the videos, I'll quickly look down at the comments and see if there's somebody uh, and I'll think, wow, I haven't heard from them in a while and I'll go ahead and check. Cause a lot of times that is what happened. Either the bell has been unrung and in a few cases even been unsubscribe completely in lots of times uh, it works the same as facebook does with your timeline it only shows the most active ones you have participated in either if you go there often and watch or they come to your channel uh so the same thing with youtube they, they show you the ones that you're more actively involved with actually i see jaded diva just commented yes it happens all the time yeah. exactly and i think it was with your channel the other day if i'm not mistaken was one of them because i know you do put out a decent amount of videos and it might have been Sane, not Sane Enterprise, but their other channel, Sane Auto, I think it happened as well. And Jazzy, but, but yeah, I don't think it's a bug. Uh, I, 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 yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a bug this way because uh, I think it's on purpose. Again, the same as Facebook. Uh, they want to keep you relevant to the content. They want to keep you active with your users, not just sub for sub. And it's also a way to have what they look at right now. What we're doing is completely legit. They can't take it away from us, but as YouTube is so great at supporting everybody, they don't like this influx sometimes and then they'll think there's something shady going on so they'll pull a couple here and there it, there's many things going to be going on with it i believe the algorithm has grown to the point it's not like it's going to take over the world so no need for tinfoil hats or anything but i do believe it's almost they're starting not to completely understand what it does themselves and that's where i think they're having the most trouble they've almost created a bit of a beast and they haven't lost control but it's kind of like sniffing around the pen a little more, wondering for little ways to get out here and there. So I think we're all kind of paying the price for their technology at the moment. That's just my opinion. Hi, Lady Borgia. Hi. Uh, it's not supposed to be on her stream. So. Uh, yes, definitely. <laughs> As we talked before, uh, go over and check her channel, by the way. Oh, Vern, uh, Vern Vlogs as well is here. Great job today on the, on the the on with your chat with uh, James. You guys really did a great job today. Yeah. 
yeah sub sub and resub yeah and and guys uh, don't stress about uh, you know two dropping and one coming back and three dropping yeah. it happens all the time it's uh, i know when we have those little numbers smaller numbers we we tend to stress about every unsubscribe but uh it's it's not because you did something wrong or you they yeah. didn't like your video it's just youtube doing the wrong thing and it's gonna come back we've so. seen a drop what 16 in one night like, like yes. literally in two hours almost it was gone down that exactly much. It was, yeah. and, it, and it is i understand how disheartening it is and it's, it is but you know being involved in stuff like this is really what brought our numbers back uh, that's that's uh always been a plus so be very very vibrant and presented here as much as you can because people will see and there'll always be new ones coming in and then they'll definitely be looking for people to to work with so yeah just do what you love doing and keep being involved and and uh, it's it's gonna grow look at us <laughs> oh, dear belly travelers hey how are you welcome to the chat so glad to have you guys here hmm. so many though oh my god half blood pixie there's so many talented people Fun here right looks. now. Yeah, my God, you've got so many. Uh, yeah, do you have any more questions about us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about ask away. We would love. To, we're probably that's even easier for us when we're getting the questions. Yeah. So don't be shy. Five minute kitchen. Hi. Oh, have at it is at four ninety nine. So time to have at it and have at his channel and let's get him over five hundred. That'd be amazing. Yeah, we can get him over 500, can't we? Have at it. Go check his channel out. Oh, Five Minute Kitchen. Hey, how are you? Five Minute Kitchen uh, today, I believe, hit a milestone as well, if I remember right. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. The chat, the chat is so quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like stock quotes. I, I need to improve my reading <laughs> skills. Guys, you're amazing. Uh Verdict Squad passed uh, Excellent. now. Very good. On on live stream. Yes, live streams Excellent. are great yep. for that for sure. Uh, uh well, yes, lady. Yes, for sure. Definitely. Uh we'll do I'm that. Studios. Uh I would love it. Uh, just uh email me or DM me or on Instagram and, and let's figure it out and, and and do a collab. I would love it. <laughs> we've been uh, we've been stuff just beneath eight forever. But even small growth. Yes, you're right, your belly travelers. Uh, small growth is every every growth is triumphant. And it's like uh, it doesn't go like this all the time. And there is ups and downs in this. This helps speeds us up, but it's definitely not shoot to the top in a day. And you guys know that. I see you putting out tons of videos. Guys, check out Beer Belly uh, Travelers if you haven't yet. They got an amazing channel. Her and her husband. I like him because he's a train fan. So. <laughs> <laughs> and she's always funny and always always a, a great tester and they got a really really great channel and they're definitely worth they definitely check them out if you haven't yet uh lady borg yes i can uh just email me the the details and we'll see what we can do about it i would love to uh joey joe joey hey joe <laughs> yes <laughs> hi you made it he <laughs> ran home from work just to see our live stream that's dedication go canada go <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thank you. We said at the beginning and again, A Joe is gonna be one of the greatest up and coming channels. I can really see it taking off. He's he's got so much energy and it's it's vibrant and it's fun. Uh, it's just an amazing channel. It's 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 oh yeah, uh, yeah it's uh it's uh it's a great quality. Yeah. It's a great quality show that deserves much more spotlight, and I think uh we think it will go yeah, quite yeah. far. Definitely. Uh, the way you format, the way you're formatting it, the way it's done, it, yeah. it's just the perfect timing for it. I think. And uh, he's an amazing support. Like you, you add him, he he he'll make you feel like you're on top of the world all the time. A really really great person. And we could definitely got to do a call up. I mean, we are only a couple. Oh, J away. Janet Taylor, who also too, I think she's watched every one of her videos twenty times. God love her. She's asking if we'll do a. a Willing to do a collab live stream with a beauty channel. Oh, I do don't... you want to do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Any color will help. But <laughs> let's do a remake. Or... Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, um... <laughs> but uh, that yeah. would get us some views and some. I think we get banned. <laughs> I never done that, but uh, we can definitely. If you. 
uh, I probably would be even more uh, nervous about it because I really, I, I don't know. Uh, I would love to. Uh, let's talk about it. I would love to. We are so open for any collabs and, and any suggestions. So please, why not, right? Uh, we can only try and see. So definitely, let's uh, DM me uh, and, and let's organize something. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I definitely think Xenia would be the. And yeah, a lot of people are asking how to pronounce Xenia's name. Think of it spelled spelled K S E N I J A, but you pronounce it like Xena, like an X, like Xena Princess Warrior. So it's Xenia. <laughs> There's a little X behind it, Xenia. But you can say Ksenia and everything. She goes to the doctor's office. He comes out holding the paper saying C -c -c -c. She's like, Yeah, that's me. So she's pretty easy to, to get along with. So Yeah. I have had so many pronunciations here, especially in Canada because it's very uh, uncommon name. Uh, yeah, collaboration networking is key, so that will be fun. Yes, definitely, definitely. And I have seen that even on other social channels as well. Uh, it's It works amazing. You open up your doors to other viewers, uh, mm -hmm. to different audiences, right? Uh, it's It's great. It's great from every point of view. So uh, the more uh, people do that, the better. Uh, so definitely, again, if anybody has any ideas or want call-ups, please uh, message us here or after. Uh, definitely, we're open for that. Uh, Custom Carts, uh, I believe, just came in. Hey, how you doing? Glad you can make it. Hi. <laughs> Another great channel. There's so much great content here. I swear to God, if we put everything together, we have our own TV network. <laughs> Brox next. Congratulations <laughs> on getting to thousand. Uh, thank you. Yes. You, you all, thank you so much, Brox. You guys have been so amazing. We do appreciate it. Are we really? This is. I uh, we can't say it enough. It really is made this so much of a pleasure working with all you guys. <laughs> so, thank Joe you. says, "Can I copy your new intro? It is so <laughs> awesome." <laughs> <laughs> well, you can put our intro in the intro of your video. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll paste your head around into it. You can be there with us together. We'll put you in between Xenia and I. <laughs> the Canadian connection. <laughs> oh my God, you're so amazing. <laughs> when, when are you traveling up here? Come on, we need a call up. Half blood pixie, you guys are so nice. You as well. <laughs> You're always <laughs> so sweet you. in your comments and all that. <laughs> it's like we know a lot of you already, and I like all your your answers, uh, your replies, and stuff. It is like a friend saying hi a lot of times because it's not cold, it's not generic. Uh, you, it's always something. It doesn't have to be ten lines, but it's always very genuine, sincere. So. Joe says this. Joey or Joe? Oh, Joe. Call him Joey. Call him Joey. Make him feel he's he's Joey. young at heart with these all of these Joey. videos. Joey, so. may I call you Joey? So Joey says that our intro is the best he's ever seen on YouTube. Oh, uh, thank you. I wanted thank to you. do something different. That video was a lot of work. Like I say, three days off and on to do twelve seconds. But I really wanted to do it fast. And yes, uh, it should usually no, be no more longer than eight seconds. But because there's so much moving and movement into it, I had to make it 12. But I think because of all the slices travel the way they do, it makes it feel less than eight. But uh, yeah, I think it was finally said what we wanted to say about us. It was like yeah. the ad subscribe and everything. But I didn't want to make it cold. I didn't want to make it sound like we were panhandling. Mm -hmm. I wanted to, to what I would hope people would feel like when they get to our channel. So that's why I decided to do it that way. And basically what I did was open up our, our page, take a screenshot, save it, then click the like button, then saved it. Then I had to click the subscribe and then the bell and then the comment. And then after the comment, layered them all up in Photoshop, cropped them. And so I didn't get in trouble with copying anybody else's content where you have your suggestions on the side. I had to go back and look up our videos and grab all the suggestions of ours from those, paste them on top. So then it's, if you'll notice, if you ever pause it, it's all of our videos there. And then it's just a simple point of animation. You move your mouse, say left to right, but just scroll your page up and down. Keep them always sandwiched them top of each other and then just start removing the layers. So when you see the video in Premiere, it's basically a set of stairs that way. And that's how the animation goes. Mostly you do stuff like that in After Effects, but it wasn't worth going into that just to do that animation. I could get it done in 
in uh, Premiere, but it's probably nine active layers, I guess, plus then all the audio and the, the, the sound. Uh, I had to go and uh, chop down bell sounds that would fit in the right amount of time, uh, set all the volumes and everything. So thank you very much. I'm really glad you enjoyed it. And the picture of us is a picture we took with the kids on Lake Huron crossing the Great Lakes. Yes. And somebody said we look like badass rockers. Thank you very much. That was, we don't get to do that often anymore once you have kids. So that was actually, we're I'm quite happy with that answer. So yeah, <laughs> we have a, 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 a camera channel that we watch a lot. Tony and Chelsea. Chelsea? Yeah. Or Chelsea. Yeah, Tony, and Chelsea. Tony and Chelsea and also once again Peter McKinnon I think we kind of sandwiched both of their elements of what makes them interesting into that video so oh corn uh corn life network is in oh there he is Hi. oh, oh four percent on the phone well thank you for making it my <laughs> yes god. my god yes thank you. so happy you came it was another one of our esteemed panelists last night we had the time of our life that was that was the yes. funnest stream yet. Oh my God, I, we laughed till twelve thirty at night. <laughs> it, it was nice. So like I say, it was alumni because a lot of us have been with the uh, I am Creator for a while. So it was kind of an alumni get together, and everybody was nice and uh, it, in the channel. Uh, it was a good vibe. It was nice to see things after a bit of a rocky period, which happens with anything that's growing with any kind of a community. It's never going to be always it's ship a natural sale. Natural dynamic, yeah. and that's what makes everything stronger. Like Miss Kathy was so nice to have her on last night. I, I think thinking that I'm looking over and seeing her and thinking how great it is that she's there. So, you know, and same with yourself. <laughs> Definitely, and and it, it's not a competition within the community. Uh, no. That's what is so great about it. Uh, you know, uh, it's it's friendly, it's supportive. Yep. Uh, because we're not competition to we, each other. We all want the same <laughs> we're thing. We all want the same thing. Yep. Uh, you know, and we like ours. The main thing for us is just to get our uh, videos out. Definitely. There, you know, especially like. Uh, <laughs> I, I see how much work you're putting in them. I <laughs> I I want more people to see them and appreciate them. No, I appreciate were, that. Uh, and and the same with everybody else here. There's lots of people that even if they don't do as much in the video, but their craft is what takes place. Somebody who spends twenty hours uh hiking up a mountain just to show the tri the, the, the time it took, the views along the way. I mean, that's just as much effort. That's twenty hours of their time they've put into their craft. Uh Video gaming, somebody who does a walkthrough through a two-hour session, hats off to you. That's, that's dedication. You make it interesting. If you can get somebody to sit through for two hours, that means they really appreciate what you do. All you guys have great things to bring to the table. I love your work. Uh, some people are saying about the uh, channel art <laughs> lady, yes, uh, <laughs> and and some other Janet about channel art and graphics again. Uh, guys, if you need help, uh, we're here. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what couldn't we do for a shout out? <laughs> <laughs> she's she's half Latvian, half car salesman. I'm telling yep. you. So <laughs> Shameless plug again. Uh, yeah. No, but seriously, guys, if, if you need help, I love doing uh, those graphics for social media. So if if you need something like that, please email me or or message me on Facebook or Instagram. I would be so glad to help uh, you make them or make mm -hmm. them. We can figure something out. Okay, so. Uh, just, just do it. Definitely. <laughs> Tell me what you need, and we can figure something out and, and do it together. Okay. Um, okay. Um, what else we have here? Uh, some reason you. Yeah. Uh, well, technical side of it. Yeah. Lady says that her new upgrade is is laptop that can handle much better editing programs. It will keep up with creativity and fun things. Mm. and keep learning. Yes. <laughs> yes. Definitely. Uh, that's definitely is a a base. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. I mean, you can work with anything and anything will do. But yes, there is some things that really do save you. This year we got to look at something else for video editing because it is getting too hard. So I'm going to be looking at probably building an AMD Ryzen system of some sort of something, uh, just to cut down on rendering times and stuff because I spend more time rendering than I uh, do editing. It feels like uh, Janet uh, she says run out of run out of space on my computer and my phone. A suggestion if you don't already use it, uh, and I don't know if you're iOS or, or Android, but if you're on Android, uh, use um, uh, Google. Uh, cloud for yes. photos 
Uh, that's how I, it automatically uh, backs up. Once I am in a Wi-Fi, it automatically backs up all my photos to there so I can just get rid of them on my phone. And, and they're always on the um, Google Photo app. Uh, so that way, otherwise, me as a photographer, I, I like I wouldn't have a space like in a day in my in my phone because I take so many pictures. Uh, so just do that and automate it so that you don't have to worry about it and uh, you have more space. Mm. I'm sure if you do have uh, iOS program though, I'm sure they have something similar on that as well. Janet, uh, just if you, I don't know uh, if you uh, have our Twitter or. Uh, What's the best way to contact you, Twitter? Uh, well, you can either Twitter uh, message or Instagram message, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, or our email is uh, bookpusastudios at gmail.com. We'll leave all the information down below after the stream. But uh, if you want to find us in all the bigger social uh, media, Instagram at Pusa Studios, Twitter at oh, Pusa Studios, Facebook at Pusa Studios, it's all the same handle. Uh, so it's easy to put us in a search, and we're going to pop up. Uh, so definitely, or or uh, email, as I said, book studios at gmail.com. Uh, so please uh, message, and if it is about the graphic uh, solutions for your social channels, please uh, don't be shy. <laughs> we love doing that. So uh, OK, guys, any more questions uh, before? We end the stream. Um, oh my God, so many, so many, so many. Again, all the shout out to all and each of you guys uh, that are here and supporting us and amazing questions and all the congratulations and, and just uh, keeping us a company. That's so amazing. Um, <laughs> Oh, Joey, that would be so amazing. So um, I th I think we could, I think we for sure have to do a cool call up together. We are so close to each other. That would be a shame not to. <laughs> so uh, it's definitely, it's a great idea. Uh, Joey was saying that uh, he would come uh, by train uh, with his better cough, uh, vlogging about it and uh, to Montreal. That's where we are right now. We're in Montreal. And uh, I think we're looking forward to it. This would be so, so amazing to, to actually do a, a, an actual video uh, with somebody from the community. That's great. Um, uh, that's um, uh, push us, Joe, uh, Joe Z is asking, uh, I have the same issue as the Lady Borgia. Could you give some info on what we should get with new computers? Oh, okay. Um, well, it depends on what your budget is, of course. I'll turn this around. Sorry, I just had to go get us coffee. <laughs> you caught me in the middle of a run. We have coffee, Alex. Yes. I never <laughs> drank coffee in my life. I was a truck driver for years, never touched it until she finally convinced me. Because we have an eight-hour drive home to my parents that I wouldn't stop. So she finally figured coffee would get me to pull over, which did work. And now I'm an addict to it. <laughs> so. Thanks more than I do. Now. Yeah. <laughs> but back to the question about yes. the computers, Dan. Yeah. Uh, as you all know about bit mining right now, that has made it extremely, extremely expensive for video cards. A good video card is not so important for a computer and video editing, but it is really good if you're using especially a decent amount of effects. Because as, like Premiere, I I can't answer this for Final Cut. I believe it's the same, but I'm not positive. And the other ones on this, but you can associate assign the a lot of that work onto the GPU, the graphics, uh, uh, the video card, to take some of the pressure off your uh, CPU. Right now, the best bang for the buck is go for any. If you're not getting a laptop, go for AMD Ryzen because it's multi-core. The Ryzen 7 series, the 1700X, is about 500 Canadian. I th no, even less than that now, four, uh, 400 Canadian maybe, and probably 250 US. And it's got multi-core, and what that's good for is, of course, you know in multi-thread, the more thread, the more core, the more things you can run at the same time. Because when you're working with video, you have Photoshop open, you have Adobe Premiere open, you have Illustrator open, you have your browser open. So that leaves more, those threads mean more pathways for all them to open. Where 
until recently we were pretty much unless you're ready to pay a ton of money we're locked at four cores and few threads so that's why when you opened up your photoshop all of a sudden your premiere would slow way down and stuff so definitely 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 look into the ryzen processors r-y-z-e-n and that's made by amd and i'd if you can swing it go for the ryzen 7 if not go for the ryzen 5. Video cards are a real stretch because of my bit mining right now that use GPU cards. They've all doubled in price. I was looking at buying a GTX 1080 and it was 999 and now that thing goes for over 2200 for the same card. Can you spell again Ryzen? R or uh, R Y Z E N. Yeah. Okay. I'll make sure I spell I had to think in my no, head. So, there. Uh, Josie I was asking. Yep, yeah, no, no. So uh Memtrunk eighty five uh, says that he would get no less than thirty two gigs of RAM. Definitely, definitely. If you can swing the RAM and RAM might be going up in price. So if you have something you want to get it for now might be a good time to do it. Uh, it's already double the price of what it was two, three years ago. 16, you can get away with. If you can do 32, definitely go for it. Uh, 64 is just getting really, really expensive. It, it, it helps a lot, but it, it is not. Uh, oh, okay. I'll answer that in a second, Janet. And um, one side caution, hard drives might be really going up in the near future because guess what? They found a new way of mining Bitcoin, and this time instead of using the CPUs, where they've already jacked up the price, this time they can do it with hard drives. It probably won't be as bad, but they're going to go up because anything they can mine with, the prices go through the roof. Uh, hello, Ian and the gang. Welcome to the uh, stream, by the way. Just came in. And uh, they say that got a new computer. It's Lenovo ThinkPad laptop with some great stuff on it. Uh, well, if it works for you, it's great. 100%. Uh, if, you, if it works, what you have <coughs> works for you, there is no need to upgrade just yep. for upgrading. You know. I know we don't like talking with the big guys much, but let's face it. What Casey Neistat and them guys are doing, a lot of them are on uh, Final Cut and stuff like that. And, I mean... <laughs> look at their videos look at their views it's not always about having the latest greatest i use premiere just for the simple fact is what that's what i uh, cut my teeth on to it's what i'm comfortable with but it's not the holy grail nothing is it's it's what's behind the camera is the holy grail and really not even it's what's in front of the camera in conjunction with who's running the camera uh, that's where the story lies and you can make some amazing look what people are doing today with cell phones it's unreal the video they're shooting now now you can buy I have the DJI Osmo camera But now you can buy the DJI Osmo made for your cell phone to get steady cam shots And you just put your cell phone in you control it with the thumb notch. It's the identical identical controller to mine You know, you know like uh, I think for example all the tools and gadgets uh, I mean yes, you need some certain things for basics just to run things but uh, The upgrades it's it's not the main thing as I no. said to creative things uh, for example, the most uh, tedious question that I get sometimes as a photographer is, uh, oh, that's a great picture. What camera did you use? Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, obviously I use camera, but it really doesn't matter what kind. It's the same as asking a cook what kind of stove do they use? Does it matter? Yeah. Right? It's, uh, it's just a tool in our hands. And yes, it's better to have maybe a better glass. It's going to be clearer or uh, maybe an upgrade, but really... Uh, you can have the best equipment in the world, uh, and if you don't have an eye for it or skill for it, your pictures or videos, whatever you're doing, is not going to do better. And you can have just a phone or even a point and shoot or any lower grader, so to say, and have a great talent and skill, and the pictures or videos are going to look amazing. So uh, if, if it works for you, that's great. Uh, skill is what you need to upgrade, I think, more. There's a, the video that I put up a couple of days ago with the photographs. Some Xenias took, some I took with our travels through Europe. There's two or three that were taken before Xenia had even gotten her A6000. And they were taken on, what was it? It was a Fuji point and shoot. Yeah, I think so. It's yeah. something very uh, ancient. <laughs> yeah, and like we've put them up, and nobody's like commented yet. Oh, this one looks less than the other, or some pictures are from two thousand eight, I think. Yeah, there's so. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, so you know that just goes to show you right there's that this proof in the pudding. It's all about the moment capture. That's what people really focus in on. You guys got a ton of great stories to tell, so. 
what camera did you use for the Europe uh, videos? Janet asked. Yeah, see, that was the one. Like Xenia, we use mostly Xenia's A6000, but there are a couple of them were so shot with an older Fuji uh, point and shoot. And your phone. And my phone. That's true. I forgot, but yeah, yeah. and a, a, a Sam, uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy S4. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not the newest on the market. I use it for traveling because uh, for SIM cards, in case I lost it, it wouldn't break the bank. So all those are all compiled in there, and nobody's been saying, like, oh, this one looks different from this one of the shot. I mean, if you put them up under a, a, a magnifying glass, maybe, but we're, we usually don't do that. We're more interested in the story at hand. So. Yeah, and look at the Peter McKinnon. I, I love his videos. <laughs> yeah, Peter's been kind of a big inspiration to us. So. Lots, lots of the videos he takes with the phone, Yep. right? And uh, so it, it's, it matters and it doesn't. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think it's, it's the main thing. Uh, to have something upgraded. A uh, lady work is asking is 64 worth it. If you can swing it and it's not going to put you in the poor house, definitely. I wouldn't go any higher than that cuz that you're going into the 128 section and it's it's literally like 2 grand for most like uh most uh, ram kits at that price. 64 though is great. I would say that's as high as most people would go. Anything higher than that, then you're going into Linus Tech Tips <laughs> money where they don't care. They got a they got a budget and they get everything free. But if you can swing it and it's not going to ruin you, you'll definitely notice the performance, especially with renderings and heavy effects. Uh, another question: uh, What laptop would you pick? A laptop. laptop i just love doing my pictures anywhere on the windowsill on the kitchen floor like anywhere yeah. <laughs> so i use a laptop more uh, andrew is more of he uses laptop combination with a yeah uh, desktop. but i try to avoid I, I try to avoid laptops as much as i can for the simple reason though i do i like to do a lot of heavy editing but it can be done i mean it's just longer render times instead of waiting 20 minutes to render your video you might wait 40 minutes or an hour but some people it works better for them because of the, the portability so i hope we didn't freeze out uh, guys can you still see us <laughs> Thank you, Janet. If you can still hear us, guys, mm -hmm. uh, phone's dying for Janet, so she's saying good night. Thank you for all the questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good night. Mm -hmm. um, now, we're still not sure if we are showing up or not, so please, somebody message. <laughs> um, Lady Borgia, the picture is the photographer, not the camera. Yes, exactly, exactly. I agree. And yes, uh, you said that you are doing some of the editing inside the camera. That's also a way to do it. It's the faster way of uh, doing it, for sure. It saves lots of time. Uh, thank you, Joey. Again, this is really great. Push your rock. Uh, and yes, I can see you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You rock, too. Thanks. Um, I shoot and edit with my phone. Yes, uh, oftentimes when I take picture with a phone, like when I do on my walks in the morning, sometimes you can see on my Instagram stories, uh, pictures from my walks in the morning. And uh, those I definitely, I edit on the phone. Uh, I actually, uh, one of my favorite uh, apps for, uh, I'm just gonna tell you, <laughs> uh, for apps for phone editing is Snapseed. Love, 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 love it. Like I have tried probably, 30 of them uh, of different kinds and I have come back to Snapseed. It's just amazing. The detail I can get to it is almost the same as I could do on the computer. Uh, so so definitely try it out if you haven't yet. Um, okay. Uh, any other questions? Uh, lighting tricks. I'm picking up some hardware lamps tomorrow to add to my professional lighting. <laughs> Nobody knows. We're not gonna tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, light is the key for sure. Definitely, uh, is it? It is a key. You need to have a good lighting to have a good picture. Uh, and the the worse light conditions you have, the better equipment you have to have if you're going back to that for sure, because um, it's gonna introduce noise. The low light conditions is gonna introduce noise, and it's gonna be as crisp. So for sure you wanna 
you want to have a good light but uh lady i i think you have a great light for uh for your vlogs and stuff that you do you need more lights hmm i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i do think so but i i think your lighting is great uh joey says that snapseed is a must yes exactly uh exactly 120 percent just love 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 it um asmr made edits on a desktop and laptop depends on my, how much time i have yeah exactly well client work i do on 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 my computer obviously but the ones that i post on social uh again on instagram stories and things like that i i don't transfer them most of the time um yeah yeah exactly lady Borget. yeah exactly samsung note 8 and a 20 dollar <laughs> mic exactly perfect and a great light and that's all you need window light in the day perfect don't need anything uh, <coughs> yeah what microphone and lighting are you using andrew what are we using right now right now we're using the road uh road mic pro that i bought on kgg because there's no use paying full price for something when you can get it uh second hand which is basically hadn't even been used they still had the original packaging yeah we can turn if you want no it's okay uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, i'm also using oh, that's, oh, oh sorry there there yeah. and the camera using is the c922 i believe it's called i'm not exactly a, a very up on uh up on my webcams but we just wanted something that was decent to got good reviews just for <laughs> i'm still setting something up and xenia likes to turn the camera she's camera shy more than me if that's possible no joey <laughs> no <laughs> she's <laughs> setting something up he's uh, being uh, bad <laughs> no, <geez. laughs> okay yes and today we actually we were experimenting with our lights today we have two uh floor lamps <laughs> that we got in ikea uh with uh yeah with a video light uh covered with uh transparent uh, craft paper <laughs> mm -hmm. okay can you see it oh that yeah okay so this that you can see that's another floor lamp and my reflector that i use for photography <laughs> then uh this here you can see our uh, apartment too. This here is a video light covered with transparent light to make it softer, so those uh, shadows are not as harsh. Um, We're not very set up for vlogging, so yeah. that was another thing too. We don't really have a lot of that stuff because we don't use it up until tonight. So yeah, just... so we just were adjusting things for what we usually use for our own setup for uh, uh, photography and video. <laughs> oh, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, truth be told, I'm having a cigarette that's not good to do on camera, so that's why I just turned for yeah, a second. But I'm right here with you. have a lot of how bad it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks, God, we're on the health channel. So it's all good. Uh, yeah, so desktop is probably better, but laptop is easier. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Uh, I agree for sure. Um, we froze for a moment. Are we okay now? Yes, Joey. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, are we okay now? Are we frozen? <laughs> Hopefully not. Uh, yeah, Joey uses uh, Snapseed for his uh, thumbnails. Yes, exactly. Perfect way of controlling the everything on the picture. Uh, Sane Enterprises uh, do photo on Windows and use TubeBuddy uh, to to do thumbnails. Yes, it's a good yep. version as well. Um, TubeBuddy's a great resource. All those ones, that's something else too. We're using a new one called what, IQ? Yeah. And that's amazing too. We use them in conjunction. And Social Blade. Those three are always running when we're... Uh, yeah, Vida Q, Social Blade. Uh, yeah, um, I have a couple other ones that I am trying, uh, like Mor yeah. Morning uh, Glory, I think it's called, or something like that, <laughs> where you can get only by invitation. Uh, and uh, yeah, there are lots of them outside, uh, and you can just try and see. But the TubeBuddy and VidIQ runs all the time. I'm gonna try. I th uh, they both have different features, um, um, so we run them in conjunction. I'm feeling a little braver. I'm gonna try actually. Uh, just since we're experimenting tonight, I'm gonna see if I can do this. 
Um, yeah. There we go. Can you see it on the full screen? Morning oh. fame. Yes. Thank you. Morning fame. <laughs> yes. I actually love it. I just uh, started it a week ago and uh, I love it. It's different. It's definitely different than the other one. So uh, kind of checking it out now. Morning fame. Is it coming through? Can you see? Um, I can't see. What live, what encoder were you using? Right now we're just uh, using the, uh, the Hangouts app at this point. Yeah, uh, it's coming through. Okay. This is a few, uh, I'm just going to bring it down here a little bit. This is what the, the, um, the intro that I made. This is it here in Adobe Premiere. And uh, for anybody who hasn't used Premiere, down below where you see A1, 2, and 3, these are the audio tracks, of course, and then the Vs are all the video. And here's the timeline. So you, I'll bring this back down. Now you can see, you see how it works like stairs. And if you pull it down, take this off so you have a bit more room to see. And as we bring the slider across, you can see with the mouse going, the page isn't moving, coming down. And then the page slides, but really the mouse isn't doing much. If you look at it, in theory, it's only dropping about maybe an inch. And it's just kind of an optical illusion. And then the mouse is over top. And then when it gets close, it's overlaid with the hand. See how it turns to a hand? It's not really the, the pointer still there. It's just the hand is a little bit bigger to kind of cover it. And the typing is just that gray. It's just I copied the gray color, made a bar, and just made it slide away from the typing. On a timeline so if you go back up uh, let's see which one it is I believe it's this one here you can see the, the points where everything goes through and then you can just follow through as you go through your layers and this is our sound effects down here for the the bells and the clinks and then this is the talking if you hear behind it there's an actually some it's a uh, a bit of audio taken from a coffee shop to give it just a bit of ambience. One thing you really want to avoid on videos is dead air. Really, anything you can think of to fill it in, whether it's bird sounds if you're outside, uh, makeup sounds, go out with your camera, even if you don't have a separate microphone, and just ruffle some leaves in your hand. Anything is better than dead silence. Because between those clicks and dings, which are the, the green ones here, you can see there's constantly the audio from the coffee shop down below it's i set the volume low so it doesn't overpower it but it's just a, there's an eerie feeling about no sound it almost sounds like something's not wrong with either your computer or the video so i always 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 keep something there even if it's almost unaudible it does fill the space and it really does make a difference so when it's all put together there was always sound so and like I said, then the pictures here was all we did was I took it into Photoshop, inverted everything. Then I used the poster edges filter just to bring out the highlights to give it that real digital look to it. And the reason why and the flashing is nothing more than I made a white screen, basically a white uh, mat and, uh, and just cut it out every second frame just for that first beginning while the drums are rolling and it cuts out on the last drum roll where it kicks into the beat. And that's where it slips over into the regular image of us and then like i say if you look on the side here these are all our videos 15 minutes yep <laughs> so yeah that's about it that was just i figured i'd just something to do tonight to put up on the screen as well to try i want to try screen sharing and see how we were at it so um that's this like i said this is the program i choose to work with but everybody has their own um, we shoot flat as a side note. I don't know if you guys know much about it. Xenia's camera shoots raw. Mine, I had to adjust the settings, and basically you're taking away almost all the color. And when I do video inside, that's so I can even them out, balance them, and you would. this is a bad one because it's only a bit of image and some black and white photo, but usually you would go into your luminetry colors, use your scopes here, and balance your colors. So all your red, greens, and blues are pretty much even. Once they're all set, then you put your color on top in another layer. And that way, if you shot clips on uh, Tuesday, a Friday, and a Saturday, they look more connected, more even. So 
I'll take this off. No, I think there we go. And we're back. And while we were doing a little tutorial, James Cox is back in the studio after having a big feed of barbecue and corn. Oh. Now we get all jealous. And we have to mention I'm a creator, so another Canadian quarter in the jar. And now we talk about <laughs> We have, <laughs> always have to pay Jimmy's royalties because he controls it. <laughs> He's the man with the copyright, so i got to be good to him. <laughs> Yeah, as I said in the chat, we're going to do probably another 15 minutes or so and uh, let you guys go. <laughs> yes. And guys, also tonight, uh, come back at like the same as James would say on uh, the I Am Creator chats that he has. Please come back after and leave a like, leave a comment. Tell us stuff you'd like us to discuss. Tell us if we're doing something wrong, uh, what we've done right. Uh, we're just learning at this, so we're definitely open to any kind of... Uh, any kind of thoughts you may have onto it, please don't be shy. So. Yeah, definitely. And we can do like little tutorials like that sometimes too. If, if there is something that uh, in mm -hmm. particular that you want to know, uh, we can show the way we are doing it either with photo, graphics, or video or social. Yep. Uh, if we can, we can uh, try and do that in our live stream. So please uh, drop the ideas about what we can do on our live stream. So we would like to do it more regularly. Definitely. Yep. I'm. Uh, that's where I, I'm not saying, I, I hate saying that's where our big strength is. Uh, it's not a gloating thing. It's just something that we're probably that's where we're most in our comfort zone. We still have things to learn. Uh, both of us constantly are going on YouTube. We looking up how to do this and that, anything new that we can think of wrong, like, you know, to help inspire us. I, I have a golden rule with every video. I try to learn three things. Sometimes I learn more, sometimes less, but that's always my goal is I want to try and do every video, three new things that I never did before. And that's from watching videos, once again, like our fanboy, I guess we are for him, Peter McKenna, all these guys. Uh, Sin and, Sin, what's the name like? Oh, one from Belgium. Sin, they're, they're, they do teaching videos as well, not Sina. I'll post the name down below. Yeah. But they do some really great things. Like every Friday, they mimic a movie or a music video. They call it Copycat Friday. And literally, they'll show an, a neat effect or something was done, and then they'll they'll recreate it. And that's where a lot of times inspiration comes from. I don't want to do everything like they do, but I'll see something and think, oh, well, I can use it, but in a different way for what I'm doing or what I want to achieve. So uh, keep watching a lot of that stuff. There's great ideas everywhere. Everybody's coming up with them. And, and the amazing part is with all of us posting, it all hasn't been done yet because we're all still creating. So. Yeah, I when I started my photography journey, so to say, I I uh, watched a lot of creative live workshops uh, because um, and now since then there have been a bit more sites uh, about it. But I still think that's a go-to place yeah. because a lot of professional and high-grade professionals in any uh, kind of um, skill, video, photo, graphics, anything really, uh, they do workshops and boot camps there. You can yeah. sign up for free and do your homeworks and send them your, your you know, your product, end product, it's a picture or video, get feedback, uh, very interactive. And I think I learned a lot uh, from that, from, from professional mm. uh, people Definitely. there. And, and obviously there are tons of information out there beyond that. Uh, but I, I think that helped me a lot at the beginning, for sure. And Xenia's a more disciplined, <laughs> that's another one of our differences in personalities, but work together. She's very disciplined at that stuff, and I admire her. She can sit down for two or three hours in the now. For the people that aren't like Xenia, more like me, who have an attention span the size of a flea, I am always running over looking for that exact five-minute, ten-minute segment because I find it hard to take in a two-hour one. But I'm glad she does because then I can always get some advice from her if I'm stuck in a spot. Chances are she's probably seen it before in one of those rooms as well. There's so many resources out there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea maybe for, yeah, next time. Lady Borgia says, have music and background set behind me on my videos, even if it's super quiet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Joey is such a good sport, my God. Uh, he says that uh, uh, live videos is our game. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Joey's going to give us an ego. He's <laughs> and he says we should go to Toronto and visit Peter McKinnon. That would be amazing. That would. <laughs> we're, we're bringing him <laughs> Let's along. Let's get on it. He, he's not going to talk to us, but if we bring him, he's our key to get in, I figure. So i am definitely travel wherever A. Joe goes. Yeah, who knows? He, no? He's friendly. Uh, 
Yeah, well, James Cox is asking when he's getting his money. Oh. <laughs> Inflation time, the, the Canadian dollar's dropping. I got to put more coins in. <laughs> Don't forget, you have to pay taxes on that, too. So. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You're going you're gonna to be disappointed once you convert this quarter into a pound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, James is an amazing sport. And, he, he, you know, we all, he, he's always very reluctant to take any praise for it. But, uh, and yes, he's, he's right. It's not his. It belongs to all of us. But he's banded a lot of us together. If it wasn't for him, I don't know how much, how many of us would actually know each other. By the way, if you haven't been on his latest uh, uh, live streams, uh, then you maybe don't know, and we can tell you that uh, there is a new channel. Yes. Uh, I'm a creator channel. Um, it uh, has, I think it just this week. It's yeah, it just started, I think, yesterday the day before. There was 28 today because I went and checked. Yeah. Because we talked about it last night, and I didn't realize I, we forgot to go and join it. So I went this afternoon during the live stream, and I was number 28, if I'm not mistaken. There you go. So find the channel and yep. join it, and uh, that is going to work as a hub uh for our community yeah. and eventually the social networks on twitter and and elsewhere as well uh we're growing and uh, as jane said uh we need a united place so we all are going to work on it uh definitely uh, it's a team effort it, it's going to be a team effort co-op so to say <laughs> yeah that's right so head over to i'm a creator uh youtube channel uh join it and uh, obviously stay in touch with uh all uh James' uh, Twitter account and ours and others in the community so you know what's going on and if there are any news and updates with that. 37 supporters right now, James <laughs> says. Yes, that's right. We're growing. We're growing. Very good. Growing by the minute. Uh, James, did you mean subscribers? Instead of... <laughs> I figure I'll take the opposite end where everybody else is correcting. I'm going to be the antichrist for all of this, so I'm going to go with subscribers on everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joey says that um, uh, he have found so many great channels like us, uh, yeah, through this community. Yes, and exactly how we were talking about that in the beginning. Uh, exactly. Uh, this has been amazing community, uh, amazing place to find new people to work with. And it's not sub for sub. My God, if anybody can says it's sub for sub, uh, they're not part of this community because it's yeah. it's it's not a this at all. There are so many ways we have connected with people. We have discovered new creators. There are future collaborations that we're planning already. Um, uh, it's it's a human connection. It's not a channel connection. Uh, so definitely, if uh, anybody of you out there uh, looking at this live stream and wondering if to uh, join our community, please, it's free and it's very supportive and friendly. Um, James told me to watch. <laughs> Uh, I knew it was gonna write you wash your mouth out with I'm a creator. Okay, soul. guys, boys, boys, all this silliness. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cool way that does it to you every time. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, guys. Well, we'll have to wrap up soon. Um yeah. Husky Waffle. No, yeah. Um, Hus Husky Waffle, I've seen you just added us by the way. Thank you very much. Uh was there something you want to ask us before we go? I think uh, he or she thinks they have been uh, dropped in here by mistake. So um, that's okay. Uh, thank you for hanging out with us, by yes, the way. Yes, definitely, uh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, um, Lady Borgia says that she's learning new things in this live stream. Thanks. And I want to do interviews like more stories because everyone has great stories. Yes, mm. uh, that's right. That's so right. That's so amazing. Uh, you, we never know what is behind the channel. That's why I say Definitely. it's more a human connection than the channel connection. We're not bots. We're humans behind. Yep. And there's so much things to know and to learn about each other. Amazing things that you never even thought would be behind mm. that channel. So it's a great idea, lady, for sure. Uh, thank you, James Cox. Yeah, you guys did awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Our first one, you guys were patient. You were, you were, you couldn't have been more courteous and and supportive if you tried. Yes, it, it's such a pleasure to do things with you guys. Oh, where did you get the fancy haircut, my dad? Going to point with that. <laughs> Thank you for hanging yeah, out. Yeah, I love us. Thank you. Yeah. I can't wait to meet you guys in real life, James Cox. Yes. We gotta plan a, a, a flyover uh, over the ocean. 
Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, guys. Well, yeah, I think that's it for tonight, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you again for coming. Please don't forget to leave the comment after under uh, our video. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And uh, like you say, because we're definitely going to try it again. So I'd love to hear what you guys think and what we should change. And yeah, we're always open to suggestions. So any questions and comments, uh, please DM us or uh, leave it down in the comment. Uh, again, if you need any help and graphics or yeah. video or anything, uh, you can always message us on all the social channels. Yeah, James Cox is in the States right now. That's right. He's in States. Yeah, with his girlfriend. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. And uh, and to think I thought so bad for you yesterday that you had to <laughs> be up till six o'clock in the morning. Now, now, now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, thank you anyway. Yes, definitely. Then that even more. For sure. Jesse Puppet, we want a concert next time. Oh my God. <laughs> I haven't touched the, even the guitars. I haven't played in months. I had a bit of a problem with arthritis for a while, so I stopped playing. So. You never know what could happen. If we've yeah. been known to do anything and not mail, get the kids out on their piano. We can do it together. I'm sorry, James. No, I, you, you, you are still flying under the British flag. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. You followed me here, he followed her there. See? Okay, well, see, now I'm updated on the situation, James. So sorry. I'm sorry. No, I am. Sorry. Um, uh, yes. Yeah. Film Fest. Uh, Joe, uh, you weren't there yesterday. We were talking about that, that we could do like a, um, like a VidCon they do, but for our community maybe someday. Yeah, that's right. That, that would be uh, fun. Who knows? Yeah, definitely. Knows? Um, okay. Yeah. We're Sounds good. good. Well, good. thank you again, and I'll uh, see you soon. Take Bye. care, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great night now.